The Route de Rum is a single-handed transatlantic sailing race which takes place every four years from Saint-Malo, France to Guadeloupe and covers a distance of just over 3,500 nautical miles or 6,500 kilometers. This year's event attracted a record fleet of 138 boats in six classes, including a record number of full-foiling boats that fly above the water. The previous record set in 2018 was seven days, 14 hours, 22 minutes by Francis Joyon on his 100-foot trimaran Idex Sport. Francis raced again this year to defend his title, but was overtaken by some newer full-foiling boats, including Edmund de Rothschild's Gitana 17, skippered by Charles Coudrelier. The key to their blistering speed is their ability to fly above the water on foils, which reduces drag from the waves and water and allows them to sail 10 to 20% faster in moderate wind conditions. Previous generations of ocean racing trimarans, like IDEX Sport, had foils on their floats and T-foil rudders, which provided some lift, but generally didn't lift the entire boat out of the water. Some boats with this foil configuration, as we saw in the 34th America's Cup, do lift the entire boat out of the water, but this requires incredible concentration by the crew, which is fine for short day races, but not for longer ocean races, which can last several days. To stay balanced, the foils have to provide the exact amount of lift required to counter the healing forces from the wind. To add ocean-going stability, several of the Ultime Trimorans added a ray foil on the central hull daggerboard. The ray foil has an adjustable trailing edge, like the foil on this moth sailing dinghy, which can alter the lift produced to match the conditions and keep the boat balanced. The ray foil can carry anywhere from 80% of the weight of the boat in lighter or downwind conditions to providing negative lift and downward force in brisk reaching conditions. But even though the ray foil is adjustable, it is more like a trim setting and set for the average conditions at the time, and the boat is kept balanced in gusts and lulls by steering up or steering down relative to a beam reach. The advantage against partial foiling boats like IDEX Sport diminishes as the boat speed increases. IDEX Sport, in its non-foiling 2016 configuration, still has faster 24-hour runs than the full foilers, but that was in far windier conditions when the full foilers would have had to slow down to prevent foil cavitation, which happens at around 50 knots of boat speed. The full foilers have the greatest advantage in moderate wind conditions, where a non- or partial foiling boat would be sailing at, say, 25 knots, and the full foilers are sailing at 31 knots, which we saw a lot of in this race. In the end, high average speed is what wins races, and by the time the full foilers were approaching Guadeloupe, they had created a significant gap of more than 650 nautical miles or 1,200 kilometers over the older generation boats. Foils can actually slow you down in lighter conditions, like Charles Coudrelier on Gitana experienced on the leeward side of Guadeloupe when he was creeping along at two and a half knots, while Francois Gabard on SVR Lazartique chased him down at 28 knots. Despite that frustratingly slow spot, Charles still managed an average speed of 21.6 knots compared to Francis Joyon's 19.4 knots on IDEX Sport four years earlier. This was enough to set a new Route de Rum record of 6 days, 19 hours, and 47 minutes, smashing IDEX Sport's record by more than 18 and a half hours. Remarkably, despite lots of ocean racing experience on crewed boats, this was also Charles Coudrelier's first solo ocean race and you wouldn't know it by his success. This fact must be bittersweet for Francois Gabat on SVR Les Artigues, who was the favored winner in 2018, but was overtaken by Francis Joyon on IDEX Sport in the final miles of the race. Francois Gabat also holds the solo around the world record, so Charles Coudrelier had some very significant competition. Still, foiling or not, these Route de Rum sailors are single-handing these massive boats for days on end at speeds that few of us can comprehend. What did you think of this year's Route to Rum? Leave a comment below. Also, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and watch this next video.